Slave trade in Nigeria started on the Gold Coast. After the New World was discovered, the demands for more slaves to build it increased. Slavery, by definition, is when human beings are bought and sold. It is a system of stratification in which a person is allowed to own another person. Slavery was already in existence on the continent of Africa before the advent of the transatlantic slave trade, and Nigeria was an active participant. But before then, people who were captured during the internal and intertribal wars automatically became slaves to the new masters, and they were given to the elite of the community to work on their farms and attend to the domestic chores. The Igbo ethnic stock still maintains the Osu caste system to date, even with the ban and the emergence of Christianity. The Osu people are regarded as spiritually unclean. On this account, they are disallowed from marrying a full-blooded Igbo person. During the Jihad War, the Sokoto Caliphate captured non-Muslims and forced them to work on their farm plantations, and what is more, they only freed those who agreed to convert to Islam. The Yorubas had three categories of slaves. They were the Iwafas, war captives, and criminals. The Iwafas were slaves that were secured on the inability of a debtor to settle their debt. The war captives were slaves captured during the wars, while the last group is comprised of criminals who were turned into slaves. The transatlantic slave trade began when Christopher Columbus discovered the New World and required slaves to work on the land because the locals were getting sick and dying. In 1517, Bartholomew de la Casas, a Catholic bishop, suggested that they fetch slaves from Africa in view of the fact that African slaves were considered to be stronger and less likely to get sick and die of diseases. When they arrived at the slave coast, now Niger Delta, they met with the indigents from whom they acquired slaves. A man from Britain named John Hawkins made slavery a respectable trade at the time. How? He introduced the concept of the triangular trade, wherein slave traders from Britain offered the locals alcohol and weapons of war in exchange for slaves. Thereafter, they traveled to the New World, which is America, and they exchanged these slaves for sugar, cotton, and money. The revenues were used to boost Britain's economy. As the demand for slaves rose, the demands for weapons as well as alcohol by the indigents rose correspondingly. This led to an increment in the spate of raids and wars. Britain dominated the slave trade industry for 300 years until a Brit named William Wilberforce started an anti-slave trade campaign. As a result, it was banned in Britain in 1807. The French, Portuguese and Americans were not pleased with the ban, including Nigeria's indigenous leaders such as the Oba of Benin, the King of Ashante and Arochiko Confederacy. This narrative for the record happened before colonization. Slavery is illegal in most countries. Notwithstanding, it still exists in form of human trafficking and child labor.